Here with David Stockdale. David, what's the overriding emotion after that one? Um, a little bit of disappointment, uh, frustration. Um, they did really well in their job to come away from home. And I think they knew what, what we was going to do, which was going to be <coughs> possession and keep the ball and get crosses in their box and they defended quite well. How difficult is it to sort of try and build confidence in the players? You're having so much possession, but you just can't quite make it count in the final third. Um, it's about um, big characters, um, a big manager like we've got and, and staff, and just keep working hard. And we've been trying to work hard since since day one. Um, different manager came in, we worked extra hard under him as well, and and um, look perseverance and and let's let's do the best we can points wise this year. And then um, hopefully next year is going to be a new chapter and a, a new start. Because you dominated throughout and hitting the crossbar so close for Mustafa. Yeah, but um, I, I believe that we didn't have a shot on target. Um, so that's something that needs addressing. Um, and other times it might be defence that needs addressing, but um, we're not going to win go- games if we don't score goals. They came back at you towards the end and you forced into a, a fair few saves towards the end then? Yeah, just... Um, they're going to do when, they, when they've got good players like they have up front. Um, they're probably the best chance um, mm. that they hit the post. But there's looks in there. Um, but again, uh, don't score goals, don't win matches. So uh, that's the big, big one. And, and you concede goals as a team, and you don't score goals as a team. So um, we all take it on the on the chin, and we have to we have to work at that. Mill will beat Wigan mm. this evening. Is it squeaky bum time or is it nearly there? No, we, we go and win our matches. It's all in our hands. It's uh, it's not how we look at it. Um, you got to to think about it in your own personal perspective rather than worrying about what's happening behind you because we've got Wigan to go play and they're fighting. Mm. Uh, and then two hard games. Well, I, I feel that every game's as hard as mm. one another um, because we had better chances against Bournemouth who were top mm. um, than we did against Huddersfield. So... Um, you can't take anything for granted, but when you've got two games after Wigan like that, um, you need to get put put the points on the bar. I mean, there must be a fair amount of pressure on them, whereas tonight maybe the pressure was on you rather than Huddersfield. Wigan will be filling that on the weekend. Um, yeah. Look, again, reiterate that we, we've got to work hard on, on our game. Try not to think about other games. I know that all the hype about really get... Not hype, sorry, that's the wrong word. All the... Like you say, squeaky bum time. We've got to like cast that away and, and and put that away and play our game. If we can turn opportunities in, into goals, then I, I think we should be fine. What experiences do you draw on in these sorts of situations? Uh, last year, for a start, um, it's a bit bit different in the Premier League. I mean, there's there's a lot more TV coverage, and obviously we went down last year, but we put a really good fight up, and and it's about being men really and, and it's not just about the 11 players that are playing it's it's a football club it's a it's a family club and it's it's it wouldn't just affect you it affects the tea lady the manager the chief executive the chairman and and the kit man so you, you can't be selfish in these situations and that's what that's what pushed me on last year to play good football and unfortunately we just weren't good enough last year but uh, this year I think we are good enough, it's just we haven't been clinical, that's the best way to put it um, at times. So that's my experience that I've drawn, is it's it's bigger than just the first team players, the pitcher, and uh, you see so many people around the hallways that that may lose a job, so that's my, my push forward rather than being selfish. And positives to take from tonight, another clean sheet. Um, I know you haven't been conceding that many goals of late, but uh, another good performance from, from the team defensively. Definitely. I, I think someone told me that we'd, we'd let two more goals in than Watford. Um, I know Watford have been letting a few in to start season, but that's that's a big thing to say when they're fourth, is it? So mm. you, you look around and our goal difference is far superior to the ones around us. So... Um, but you can always improve on every area, and um, even if we just scored more goals this season, we, we could still could have done better defensively. But yeah, you're right, positives. I think it's 12 clean sheets now we've kept this season. So if you look at it, that in a relegation team uh, stat. But again, anything can happen in football. Lovely talking to you, Tuesday. Thank you.